tell you about a scuba diver who says he is lucky this morning to be alive after being sucked into a large pipe at a nuclear power plant. Sarah Dolliff has more. In the aquamarine waters off Hutchinson Island, Florida, are three submerged structures. A mystery, scuba divers Christopher Lecun and Robert Blake decided to investigate while diving last July in close proximity to the St. Lucie nuclear power plant. I felt a little bit of current and all of a sudden it got a little quicker. I said, this ain't right, this ain't right. He just, he got sucked in like a wet noodle. Was, he just, gone. Lecun says he was sucked inside an intake pipe that delivers hundreds of thousands of gallons of water per minute to cool reactors inside the plant. He estimates the terrifying ride lasted up to five minutes. Like Hun feared he would be chopped into pieces, devoured by machinery. All I can think about is these, these horror movies, you know. This big turbine coming and I'm coming for it, you know. It's going to chop me up and kill me. And I just contemplated, you know, do I pull the regulator out of my mouth and just die? Start thinking about my family? You know, how are they going to survive without me? But as he struggled with those dark thoughts, light. Fish everywhere, crystal clear water, the sun is shining. I'm like, is this heaven? The journey, he says, took him a quarter mile along the 16-foot wide pipe from the ocean intake to a reservoir pool on plant property. He borrowed a phone from a surprised worker and called his wife, leaving her a miraculous voicemail. Hey, it's me. I got cold through a f***ing pipe. I'm okay. And connecting with her moments later. Someone is just telling me to pick up the phone. So I did. And it was him. She picks up and she just goes, hello. And I said, I'm alive. Lacon recently filed a lawsuit against Florida Power and Light alleging negligence. The utility company has not yet responded to the suit, but in a statement claims the diver intentionally swam into one of the intake pipes after bypassing a piece of equipment to minimize the entry of objects. Lacon denies those allegations, as well as Florida Power and Light's claim that the buoy marking the area that day carried a warning to stay back 100 feet. Meanwhile, Lacon is savoring time with his wife and kids. One, two. Remembering how close he says he came to losing them. For today, Sarah Dolloff, NBC News. Can you wow. imagine? No. no. Being the wife wild. on the other end of that call, too. It's got it's through a pipe. A pipe. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, it doesn't happen great. every day. Wow. wow.